my torso? What is that, like chin to cooch? I don't know. What's up guys, Kara Corey here and welcome back for another video. I am so excited to do this review for you guys. We are gonna go in depth for the Buff Bunny Collection swimwear line that is launching May 23rd, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. We will have all those times come up for you so you know where you live, what time you can shop this launch. But for me, this is a long awaited launch. I know Heidi kind of kept it on the DL, but many of her athletes did know she has been working on a swimwear line for a long time. She sent me sneak peek photos a while ago, so I have been so anxious and so excited to see what they came up with. This is strictly just a swimwear launch, but don't worry if you're looking for active wear, there's gonna be active wear coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But with the launch of the swimwear line, there's kind of a little bit of something different here. There's a hair in my mouth. There are one pieces, very sexy one pieces. There's bikinis, there's also boy shorts, very versatile tops. So a lot of different stuff here um, within this collection. So I'm gonna jump on into trying everything on, going through every detail I can provide for you guys. Before we jump on into the review, please take a moment, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you do enjoy these videos, make sure you hit that like button. And I always do like to preface these videos with saying yes, I am a buff bunny athlete. I do get sent these clothes or somewhere uh, for free. However, they want feedback. They want honest feedback. And regardless if you think I'm biased or not, I try to give my honest impressions of what I think you guys will like, how it fits, things I'm disappointed in, things that could improve, things that I love. So I still give you that full soup to nuts, if you will, in terms of the detailing and what I think in these reviews. If you do plan to shop, it always supports me, Jason and Bruce Wayne, who we all put time into these videos. Um, if you do go ahead and use my code when you shop, in the discount code box, you're gonna enter in code Kara, and that does not give you a discount. However, it supports me as an athlete, and I do earn a small commission off each and every sale. So I do appreciate your support. If you guys do enjoy the content I put out, it's a little way that you can give back to me if you'd like. And I also just wanna say, yes, we're, most of us are still in quarantine. Things might be tough financially. So if you can't shop, don't feel bad. I'm not sitting here telling you you have to shop it. I'm just telling you and sharing with you these pieces and hopefully giving you guys a little entertainment, a little something something to watch here on the YouTubes, if nothing else. I just want to mention too, the boxes that they sent everything in are super cute. I know some people maybe at least the athletes got these boxes. I'm wondering if you guys are gonna get them too, but it's like a little, makes me wanna go swimming. Super cute little swimwear box with the Buff Bunny emblem on it. I just, I love those small little attention to details. Just makes me excited, makes me wanna go swimming and get in the sunshine. If New York will cooperate, please. <laughs> forgot one thing I want to do for you guys that I think is important when it comes to swimsuits and knowing how to size it and how what size is gonna fit you best I'm gonna tell you what I got I've got a combination here of size small and extra small but I will speak to if I think things run smaller than what you would normally wear I am going to measure some of the suits in terms of kind of the torso length for me I am five foot two on a tall day and I find that even though I'm very petite, like I feel like I have very short legs. I have an awfully long upper torso, which leads you to believe I'm taller, number one. And number two, when it comes to a one piece swimsuit, things may fit a little bit different if you have a longer torso versus a shorter torso. So I figured I would measure my torso. What is that, like chin to cooch? I don't know. I'm gonna measure that and then I'm gonna measure some of the suits to give you guys an idea 
of those length measurements so that hopefully it'll help you out if you are choosing to buy some of these pieces and you're not sure if they'll fit you. Google, how do I measure my torso? Okay, so according to this, it says torso, measure from the high point of your shoulder between your neck base and shoulder joint, and then over the fullest part of your bust, through your legs and back up to the starting point. <laughs> take it, take it on through. Saddle up. Okay, biggest part of my bust. If I measure this way, so I just, this is cute, right? I'm about 50, okay, I'm gonna pull it a little bit tighter, honestly, because if I'm wearing a swimsuit, I typically want it to sit kind of snug on me, so I'm gonna pull it a little bit tighter. But I would say I'm about a 56 and a half, 57 inches is my torso. So I hope that helps give you a reference if you measure your own torso. Um, and then I'm gonna also do some of the measurements on the one pieces so that you're aware. So vitamin C measures from the top of the shoulder down to the crotch at about 25 and a half inches. So the first suit that I'm gonna share with you guys is the one I had my heart set on, I had my eye set on, I said that is the one. If you're gonna send me anything, please send me this suit. And that is the vitamin C one piece, which I love the name of that because we all need a little vitamin C right now. We need a little vitamin D if we can get some sunshine in here. But the color of this one is Baywatch, which I love that because I did watch Baywatch growing up. Don't judge me. I realize it was a weird show, but they had some good storylines there, okay? So this definitely gave me Baywatch vibes and I just love a red suit. If you know when I was competing, a red suit was always my jam. It's always, I always placed better when I wore a red suit. Just something about it really pops for me. So I really love the color of this. It's just that perfect, beautiful pop of red. Now the fabric on basically all the swimsuits are a combination of nylon and spandex. So you're gonna find with almost all of these suits, they've got that kind of stretchy, feel to them, they can stretch very nicely. So the size I'm wearing in this suit is an extra small. And for me, I found that it was a little too tight. I would probably size up for my own self to a size small on this. When I measured this, it was 25 inches from the top of the strap all the way down to the crotch. Um, so I think I would be more suited in a size small in terms of how tight it was on me. Although I still like the way it looked on me, but I think because it ran a little bit small comfort wise, it felt a little bit more uncomfortable in the lady area, if you will. The suit itself is just beautiful. It's got that front deep V. So whether you're small chested or big chested, this will fit you. It'll hold you in place. I really, I personally love the look of being a small chested lady and having a little bit of my biddies kind of sticking out. Makes me feel a little sexy, a little flirty. And I love a sexy one piece. So this also has these beautiful kind of mesh like panels on the side that go all the way around the back, which just makes it breathable and just adds a little bit of style to it. And you'll notice too, there's also the buff bunny. It's the buff bunny symbol and then it says swimwear on it, just kind of that cute little small detail. It's not too overwhelming or in your face. It's just that little uh, detailing of the branding, which I really enjoy. This suit, regardless of being a little bit small on me, I think the way that it's meant to fit is it's a very high rise suit on the side. So it comes up, it sits very high on your hip, which for me being shorter with shorter legs, I do like because I feel like it elongates my body. I know some people aren't comfortable with that, but I love it when a suit is up that high, making my legs look longer. And then this is a bit of a cheekier moment on the back with the suit. Um, so, you know, some of your cheeks are gonna be showing. So it's up to you what you're comfortable with. I find for me, and I don't know if it's because I have that bodybuilder background here with competing, but the more of my cheek that shows, I feel like the better the booty looks. It accentuates it, it looks more round. Um, so I really do like the look of a cheekier swimsuit. 
um, which this is. If a cheekier suit is not your tee, then this may not be your suit. A couple other things you guys wanted to know when I asked you on Instagram in terms of detailing on the suit. This does not have padding in it. I can go both ways with padding. Sometimes I like it and then other times if you're actually using your swimsuit to go swimming, it can be rather annoying if padding moves around and things like that. This does not have padding, but it has a double line type fabric there. So it's kind of got that extra security to it. I didn't feel like I was nipping too hard and I tend to nip a lot. <laughs> It's also nice with that double lining. A lot of people wanted to know in terms of quality, things being see-through. With that double line there, it's nice and thick. You can't see anything through it. And it just gives you that extra bit of comfort and it does just feel like a bit higher quality with that extra layer there on the material. I wanna to mention too, I don't know pricing for anything at this point. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, Karakori Fit Life, I may have pricing closer to the launch. And if you guys hit the post notification bell, I will be doing a live the day of the launch as well so that if I have pricing details then, which I normally do the day of the launch, I can share that with you guys there. I usually go live on YouTube an hour before the launch. That way I can show you guys the suits, I can try things on, I can answer any and all of your questions. That way when launch hits, you can go shop and you are ready to go, you know exactly what you wanna buy. So feel free to come hang out with me on YouTube an hour before the launch next Saturday, and we'll go through any and all of those details and I'll update you with any further information I have. In terms of sizing on these suits, each and every suit in the collection is available extra small all the way up to triple XL. I like to remind you guys that usually the triple XL sells out the quickest. So if you are in the larger sizes, XL, double XL, triple XL, I find those go the quickest. So just like to point that out for those of you who are shopping the larger sizes, you may wanna try to shop as soon as the launch goes live. The next one is a two piece and I think these are gonna be sold separate. A few of you asked me that, but since I don't know actual pricing yet, I'm not positive, but I believe these are two separate pieces you can purchase, which is nice, because I know for myself, I'm not the same size up here as I am down yonder. So it really disappoints me when companies don't sell them separately because not everyone's made as a one size fits all, you know, in terms of our bodies. So I'm a bit more petite up top. And this suit is the Chasing Water Waterfalls. So I've got the Chasing Waterfalls top and the bottoms and the color is called Lavender, which is adorable. And when I saw this color, I was like, yes, I love it. Um, it also comes in a Cayman blue color, which I love that as well. And then you can also get it in Onyx, which is black. But this Lavender color is just a beautiful lavender, obviously. The material on it is really nice. It's it's still the same combination of spandex and nylon, but it's got this really nice ribbing detail across it. Um, just feels very high quality and still has that stretch to it, which is really, really nice. I wore the top in a size extra small. That fit me perfect for my chest size. I'm like a 34A. Um, but I feel like you could have a bigger cup size and still fit into the extra small. Um, so that's, that's the top and it's again has the little metal, um, the small little branding there, which I really like. The top for me, I really like because I am someone that partakes in water sports. Like I like going to visit my family and we'll go boating and we'll go tubing and things like that. And you don't want things falling out in front of your family, right? And this top is very supportive. It keeps everything, you know, right in place. It's a little more high support if you will, in terms of a swimsuit, something that you could do more water sports in or lay at the pool, obviously, anything you want, but I do like that for that reason. The matching bottoms are another high rise style bottom, which I like. They're very stretchy um, with the rib detailing on the bottoms as well, and they are double lined. I didn't get camel toe in any of these suits. That's what was one thing I wanted to look for. Um, I know we talk about it with you know, our athleisure and workout gear, but 
Also in bathing suits, you have to be careful with that. And I did not see that in any of these swimsuits, which is nice. The double lining, I think, helps in just the cuts of these bikinis. But this is just very flattering. This to me is like a very standard, like beautiful suit to feel comfortable in regardless of your body type. Um, I like that it's high-waisted. There isn't like compression or anything there. I don't know if that's something you guys want in a bathing suit. I don't necessarily want compression in my bathing suit, but um, so this suit for me is just kind of like your classic like go-to suit to have in your wardrobe. Like the last one I showed you is very sexy. This one's a little bit more kind of across the board. You could wear it for anything. It does still have that cheeky factor to it on the backside. Um, for me, this is my level of preference when it comes to a cheeky bottom. It shows enough of my butt so that I don't look like SpongeBob SquarePants, but then it also doesn't show too much where it's just like right up in there. That makes sense. It's just not a, a string bikini. I don't know what I'm doing here, but that's kind of what I'm thinking of. So I love the color of this, the fit of it, the feel. For the bottoms, I did do a size small, which fit me perfect. Um, I think if I sized up, there'd be way too much fabric in the butt. So size small for me is typical and extra small on the top is my typical. And so I did find that this suit is very true to size. Moving on to the next one piece. This is called the Lux Leisure One Piece. And I did get this one in a size small, which is what's nice because I could kind of compare how an extra small fit me versus a size small. Since I do have that longer torso, the size small fit me so much better. Uh, this suit does have padding in it. This one does have the boob pads in there. And it's got a deeper V, but it still has this little... Um, a little bit of fabric coming across the top there, um, which just to me makes it not as, if you're worried about having a deep V and you have a bigger chest, I think that kind of helps hold you in a bit more. Not something I have to worry about, but I just want to mention that for my uh, bustier ladies out there. I am wearing this suit in the color Onyx, which is black, but it also does come available in a color called Salty, which looks like a really fun kind of orangey creamsicle color. I didn't get anything in that color because um, I just feel like it's not for, that color isn't the most flattering on me. But then it also comes in the color Mojito, which is, you'll see these in a minute, it's that greenish color. But I went more basic with the color Onyx. So just measuring the Lux leisure one piece here. I'm getting from the top of the shoulder down to the crotch at about 25 inches, which I believe was the same as the vitamin C suit, even though this is a size small. You could, I, I feel like I could maybe size up in this. Honestly, I could maybe go to a medium, I'm not sure. Um, it is meant to be a snugger fit, so just kind of think about what your comfort level is with your suits, whether you want to size up or down. Size small is my normal one piece size, um, but I could go either way with this. This suit, I love this fun detailing here, which is the belt that goes across it. And it's a little bit more of a high-waisted belt, so it kind of comes up like under your boobs, which for me I find is very flattering. Again, these suits are kind of meant to elongate your body and just kind of flatter those your curves, basically. They're very sexy, looking a little curvy. In terms of the side and where it sits, it, it comes up high. So it sits up high. It's meant to sit like high up. That enables it to kind of flatter your curves a bit, shows off the booty a bit more. This is a very cheeky suit. Again, shows off a lot of them cheeks, a lot of my cheeks, and my cheeks are cheekier than normal due to quarantine, but I know I'm not alone in that. So anyways, it was funny because I was so nervous about trying on bathing suits when I haven't worn a bathing suit in, I don't know, since October or something. Like I haven't put on a suit whatsoever. Um, so then after quarantine, I'm like, oh God, how are these gonna look? I just felt banging in these. I was feeling myself. And I think that's really important with a swimsuit for any of us. I think that's why I have a high level. 
Like I have a very high standard for a swimsuit and what I like and don't like because it's it's a very vulnerable thing for a woman to wear a swimsuit, whether you are happy with your weight or not. It's just, it's a very vulnerable personal thing being in a swimsuit. And even for someone like myself who's competed for so many years. So I think it's really important to get something that makes you feel you don't have to feel sexy. Not everyone wants to feel sexy when they're going to the beach, but just to feel yourself and feel good. And that is what this suit did for me. I just felt very sexy in it. Um, it's very comfortable, that nylon spandex material. There's nothing itchy, chafy, moving around. Like it sit, sat in place very nicely as I was moving around. Um, no camel toe, just a great piece. And it does have that extra layer there for the boot pads, which if you don't want that, you can take them out. Those are removable, so you don't have to keep them in there if you don't like it. But overall, this was one of my favorite suits. I absolutely love this one. And then another new piece launching that's kind of a mix between either swimwear or active wear is the spice crop jacket that you guys are seeing me wear right now right here in the commentary portion i got mine in this like very bright yellow color which i love i love this little pop of color um they came out with spice jackets a while ago that i loved they were like a longer same style with the mesh i love these because they're so super breathable so they're really kind of the most perfect little cover up if you will whether you're going to work out especially coming into the summer months it's kind of nice sometimes if you don't want to start your workout in a sports bra it's nice to have a little cover up so it's it's cute and cropped with the little zipper and it does have the elastic band down here too so it kind of like cinches into your body it's not just like laying, laying loose, laying low. It cinches in there, so it's nice and flattering. It's got the zip up and the little hood on it. But I wanted to show you that you could also wear it as just like a cute little cover up over your swimsuit if you are going boating for the day, if you're just going for, you know, you're at the beach, but you're gonna go for a little walk to grab yourself a little snack. You can throw this on over it and a little pair of shorts just to kind of make it look cute. I love a good little cute cover up for a bathing suit. So you could absolutely get something like this that's nice and versatile to work for swimwear or for your active wear. So this is the Spice Crop Jacket. I am wearing it in an extra small, which I would say like I'm smaller up top. So any of the Buff Bunny jackets, I tend to size down and do an extra small either in the sports bras or the jackets because I prefer a more fitted look. If you wanted a looser look, um, you could size up, but I think these are pretty true to size or I would say size down for that fitted look. This next suit or bikini, I should say the next one is a bikini. I have got here the low tide bottoms and the low tide top, which these always stress me out a little bit if I'm being honest, because I'm always like, I don't know what to do with these. I don't know how to tie it and how to make it look cute. But honestly, it's pretty foolproof. There's no right or wrong with it. Um, but there are a couple different ways. There's actually like three to four different ways you could tie this. I'm sure you could come up with more. Um, so you're gonna see me in the footage wearing it a couple different ways. Um, you can wear it the kind of way to tell how it's inside out is due to your with your branding that kind of tells you what side is correct um, but you can just throw it on one way or you can actually throw it on the other way tie it around so there's a lot of different options with this top which is really cool it's kind of fun to play around with it if you're someone that's got a vacation planned or you just want to lay out at your pool and you don't want to have five or six different suits because you can't afford them then this might be a great option for you because you're going to be able to get a bunch of different looks all in one suit, which is what's so fun about it. So um, I styled this a couple different ways and I thought it looked cute all of the different ways that I styled it. I did get the top in an extra small. It's very, very stretchy. I will say I tied it like real tight and I noticed I was getting a little chub poking out. So just to know, you might wanna size up if you're um, worried about that. Um, I was able to kind of strap myself into it where my, 
my bosoms were just very well supported and then I was able to kind of adjust it where things were a little bit looser. So just so many different options with this top. It looks really, really cute and you don't even have to get the bottoms to go with it. You don't necessarily have to do the low tide bottoms, but these are just a perfect bottom. The high rise on your hip again with the little bit of the cheeky butt on the back, which very, very comfortable fit nothing chafy it stays in place it really well and these are in a size small in the bottoms that i got so size small for me is my normal size in a one piece i feel like i could actually size up in this if i wanted but i am comfortable with the level of the fit and the tightness of it um, it didn't feel uncomfortable but if you're someone that would rather err on the side of having a little bit more wiggle room there, especially since it's so high waisted, um, then I would just maybe size up in the Luxe Leisure. The low tide top and bottoms come in onyx, salty, which is that orangish color, and then it comes in pearl, which is basically a white color. So you don't even have to do a matchy-matchy moment with this. You could mix and match. You could do black bottoms, a white top, salty bottoms, a black, you know, you could make it work however you want. It's really just kind of like a fun, flirty way to get multiple suits. Multiple suits out of one suit, essentially. I love that. And now we're moving on to something a little less cheeky. We're gonna show you the boy shorts next. They're actually called the Tropic Like It's Hot Bottoms. These are in the color Mojito, which I really do love this color. I kind of want one of the one pieces in Mojito now because I really do like the way this color looked on me. But I kept the bottoms paired with that low tide top. I just tied it a different way. And I got the bottoms in an extra small, and these fit me really well. Actually, if you want them to be a bit more snug and tight, I would say size down on these because they don't necessarily run big, but you'll notice they're super duper stretchy. Um, they're not tight in the waist at all. I don't get any like pudging or anything kind of poking over the sides there. They're very, very comfortable. So if you're someone that wants something a little bit snugger because you're swimming and water sports, we tend to want something to fit on our body nice and tight, you could size down in these. These are your boy cut short. They do still give you a little bit of a cheeky moment on the bottom, nothing, nothing too in your face, but shows a little bit of the bottom of your tush cheeks, which just looks really cute. It's appropriate to wear in front of your family or your grandparents if you're worried about that. And yet there's still a sexy kind of look to them and they're very comfortable. So I'm really excited to try these out when I go to the beach. So if you're someone that's felt like the suits so far have looked way too cheeky for what you're comfortable with, understood. I feel like you would love the Tropic Like It's Hot bottoms though. These would be the ones I would recommend. You guys who don't wanna show as much butt cheek but still wanna feel cute and be feeling yourself when you're out there at the beach or swimming, you name it. And these are nice because you can mix and match them again with any of the other uh, tops. Um, and this comes in a few different colors too. The bottoms come in the mojito color, also in onyx and salty. So you have those three options with the bottoms. Last but certainly not least, and I didn't even, I didn't mean for this to happen. I think this is actually my favorite suit out of the whole bunch. This is the pleat, the fifth one piece. And I got this in the color pearl, which means I'm gonna get myself tanner all over it in two seconds, which I already kind of did. But I love, love, love the look of just a bright, clean white suit. I mean, with a nice little bronze going on, it just looks so clean and fresh on anyone. I did get this one in an extra small and I measured this guy. And this is also 25 inches long. So there's a little bit of variability between the one pieces in terms of the fit, even though they're all the same length, which makes sense because they're all different designs. This one I feel like felt the most comfortable and was the best fit on my body. Now this one piece, I think it was my favorite because it number one felt the most comfortable. It definitely, in terms of sizing, this one was an extra small and I feel like the fit of it felt the best on my body. 
Um, the front has that V to it, but it's not as deep of a V as the vitamin C suit or the Lux Leisure one. So it's a little bit more modest. If you're looking for something that's not as booby, this is the suit for you. Um, it still does sit high on the hip with the glute kind of giving you that cheeky bit there, but I feel like it's not as much cheek as the other two one pieces. And I love the pleat detailing, the three little pleats that come through. They designed it in a way that really do just kind of flatter the body, kind of make the waist appear a little bit smaller. And you've got the pleats running through the back as well with kind of that square back top which is just really pretty. I just really love the way the back of this looks as well. It's that same uh, nylon spandex combo, so very, very stretchy, very forgiving. And the question of the day is, is it see-through wearing a white suit? You know, you forget to groom yourself that day. You don't want President Bush showing up. <laughs> Why do I think I'm so funny and I'm not? So I was very impressed with the fact that this is not see-through. You could not see any areolas through it. You couldn't see anything else through there. It's got that double lining in there so you don't have to worry. If you're not comfortable wearing the white or the pearl, I should say, you can also get it in the color onyx and the color mojito. So you've got options there. I think I want this one in the mojito color because I think it's really, really beautiful. But something about this one fit and I just felt the best in. So this was probably my number one pick out of the entire launch is the Pleat the Fifth. This one does not have any boob padding in it. Um, but again, I didn't feel like I had any nipping going on through there. I feel like it didn't enhance my little bits there, but we're not always looking to have a booby moment. So the suit is for you if that's kind of what you're looking for. Those were all the pieces for this swimsuit launch that's coming up. I hope you guys found it helpful. Uh, if you have any other questions, as always, write them below. I do tend to add in some little bits here and there on Instagram throughout the week to share any more details, answer any questions you guys have, but I'll respond to anything down in the comments below. I'm very impressed by this launch. It is a smaller launch, but it's her first time doing swimwear. So I'm really excited to see how people respond and what you guys love. So tell me in the comments below which one you loved on me the most. I have to say, my two favorites are, they are the Pleat the Fifth and the Vitamin C. It's kind of a toss up for me. I think the Pleat the Fifth is my favorite and Vitamin C is the second, but it's hard for me to choose. And then in terms of my third, I, I really do like the bottoms. I like the Tropic like it's hot bottoms, but this color screams at me, wear it, wear me work it, wear me, and I just love the lavender color and the fit and the feel of this uh, Chasing Waterfalls suit. When it comes to choosing a swimsuit that's best for you, it is so individualized. So what you see that I think looks best on me may not be the best for your body. Everyone has a different body, different things flatter it differently. So, you know, it is really important to find a suit that you think you'll feel confident in, you'll be feeling yourself, and you know, you'll be comfortable in. So as always, I'm here to help you guys decide. If you have any questions, ask them below, and I will see you guys next Saturday, one hour before the launch at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be here to answer your questions. If you do plan on shopping, again, code Kara. I mention it again because people always tell me after the fact that they forget to enter it and there's nothing they can do afterwards if you do forget. No big deal, but it does help me out. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video, even if you're not planning on shopping, and I'll see you in the next one.